Hello and welcome to this new uh, video tutorial of uh, Magento to Mobi Google Delivery Boy app. And in this second part of the video, we'll be showing you the admin workflow and the uh, delivery guy workflow as well. So uh, in the previous video, we showed you the basic uh, or the initial configuration settings that uh, are needed for the Magento to Mobi Google Delivery Boy app. And uh, so uh, now let me take you to the uh, to the front end uh, or towards the uh, mobile app itself and let me show you how the admin would be able to log in and how uh, he can uh, process the orders by assigning the delivery boys to the uh, particular order and apart from that we will also be showing you the uh, delivery guy end uh, wherein the uh, delivery guy would be logging into his uh, mobile application that's the mobile Google delivery boy app and we'll show you that uh, workflow as well so here's our uh delivery boy app for the Magento 2 platform by uh, Mobicool so uh, I'll be opening this app by tapping it up and uh, on the login screen the admin can enter his uh, email address and password so as to log in to his uh, panel so let me tap the login button so as soon as we have logged in you can see that we can uh, see a particular dashboard here with the sales and the orders tab so here we can uh, check the uh, basically the sales that have been made so you can filter out the sales using the today weekly monthly and yearly uh, options and similarly you can choose for the orders you can go for today weekly monthly and yearly apart from that the admin can see the pending orders by tapping here on the pending orders and uh, if there are any uh, orders that are being processed that those can be waived under the processing orders uh, here and the orders that have been completed can be viewed under the complete orders option here and below that uh, the admin can see the status of the delivery boy so as you can see here on the map the delivery boy is visible to the admin so now let's go through each of the uh, options that this particular uh, mobile app has for the admin so here on the top left hand corner we have three horizontal lines so I'll just tap them up and this brings up the uh, section where we have dashboard, orders, delivery boy, chat, language and logout. So uh, let's go to the language first. So here the admin can change the language for his store as per his requirement. So I've chosen the language as Arabic. So it's a right from left. So here you can see that the uh, language for this particular app has automatically changed and uh, if I tap here you can see that many options are also in the Arabic uh, language now so let me change the language once again let's set it to English so we are back so now let me go to the auto section under here the admin can check all of the orders that have been placed within the store and uh, apart from that the admin can also check the orders that he has assigned to the delivery boys by tapping on the assigned uh, option here and accordingly the admin can see the complete uh, details of the uh, orders that have been assigned to the uh, delivery boys so on the right hand side you see a, a, a bicycle icon here so that means that these orders have been assigned and under the unassigned ones the admin can check all the orders that have not yet been assigned to any of the uh, delivery boys so let's go back now uh, this was the order section now let's go to the delivery boy section now here the admin can see all of the uh, deli delivery boys that the admin has already created for the back from the admin backend so here as well the admin can create a, a delivery boy and uh, the admin can check the status of each of the delivery boys so here you can see that uh, under the image uh, of the delivery boys there's a red marker a green marker so red means offline green means online so john doe has uh, has processed 12 orders up till now and you can see that uh, the green icon is there so let me open that up so this uh, brings up the details of the uh, uh, delivery boy that is john doe here are the, all of the orders that have been uh, assigned to him so under the delivered ones we can check uh, which uh, orders has 
uh, the John Doe uh, delivered up till now and uh, which orders he hasn't yet delivered. Apart from that, uh, on the bottom right hand corner, you can see this eye icon is the information icon. If you tap that up, that will bring up the details of the delivery boy. So here you can see that uh, the delivery boy was John Doe, his telephone number, email address, and uh, whether he has a bike or a, a scooter. And on the map, you can see that uh, we are being shown the um, what you say as the uh, location of John Doe itself. So now let me go to the side panel once again. Apart from that, the admin can also uh, chat with the uh, delivery boys. For that, the admin needs to tap on the chat option here. And this brings up the uh, delivery boys that are there. Apart from that, the admin can also uh, um, communicate or chat with the customers by tapping the customers, uh, yeah, by tapping the customers option here. So let's go to the delivery boy option and let's go to John Doe and uh, let's uh, type in some message for John Doe. Hello John. So this message will be sent out uh, to the uh, uh, respective uh, delivery boy. So uh, that delivery boy would be able to check this particular message within his mobile uh, app only. So let's go back. So uh, that was what uh, different options uh, does the admin have. He has a dashboard. The orders can be checked by the admin. Uh, the admin can check the delivery boys that are uh, there. Uh, and uh, the admin can also add a new delivery boy by tapping this plus icon on the bottom right hand corner. And this brings up the section wherein the admin can enable or disable the uh, delivery boy, enter his name, email, mobile number, choose his vehicle type, vehicle number, enter the password for his uh, uh, account and uh, type in the full address. Thereafter, the admin needs to tap on the submit button to save this particular delivery boy. So how does the admin assign uh, a delivery boy to an order? So for that, I'll just go to the side panel once again. Let's go to the orders section. Uh, we have here the unassigned uh, orders. Now I just need to tap on the unassigned order. And here you can see that uh, there are two things. The very first uh, thing that you see here ha we have that is delivery boy. Now choose delivery boy. So tapping here brings up the section wherein all of the uh, current uh, delivery guys are visible. So right now John Doe is available. So uh, the admin just needs to tap on John Doe. And now you can see that uh, delivery boy choose delivery boy section would have uh, all right, order assigned successfully. And here you can see now uh, we have uh, delivery boy as John Doe. Apart from that, the uh, uh, the delivery guy can also add the comment. Uh, comments and those will be visible to the admin. So we'll just uh, submit this particular comment as well that we have accepted it. So, uh, all right, the comment has been edited successfully. So, uh, I'll show you the uh, uh, the particular message that the uh, delivery boy gets after he has been assigned uh, this order. For that, I'll uh, show that option in the end. So, this was the side wherein I just showed you basically how the admin can assign the uh, orders to a particular uh, delivery boy. Apart from that. Uh, how the admin can create a delivery boy and check the delivery boy how the admin can chat with the delivery boys or the customers and how can the language also be changed so these were the different options and uh, uh, tapping the logout button logs you out of this particular mobile application so uh, let me log out from this particular uh, mobile application so now let me log in as the uh, what you say as the as a delivery guy that's the John Doe. So I'll just tap here. I'll paste this, and we'll enter this uh, password here. So I'll remove it first. Now I'll paste it, and I'll tap the log. Okay, paste, and I'll tap on the login button. So now I've logged in as a 
seller so I need to I need to enable my GPS so here you can see that the admin just had uh, assigned John Doe with an order so as soon as I've logged into my uh, delivery guy app uh, you can see that uh, I've received the order now I have the option to cancel or accept it if I accept it uh, then uh, I would be able to process this particular order further so I'll accept it so I've, I've accepted this particular order now here also the, uh, the delivery guys would be able to check their sales and orders and accordingly they can filter their uh, data according to today weekly monthly uh, yearly basis now let's go to the side end panel here the uh, delivery boys also have the section that's the order section the chat set, uh, chat uh, section uh, the settings section and the language change section so under the language uh, the uh, delivery boys can choose their particular language and under the orders uh, the uh, delivery boys can see the orders uh, that are uh, that are there uh, that are assigned to the delivery boy and which are pending so if i tap on one of the orders here you can see that uh, we have all the details of this uh, uh, particular order now because it's it's the uh, assigned to this particular delivery guy and uh, uh, and now the delivery guy can process it further by uh, by picking the product from the uh, warehouse first so uh, here the uh, uh, the delivery guy can reject this particular order and uh, apart from that uh, if uh, when the uh, delivery guy picks up the uh, uh, order from the warehouse at that time the uh, delivery boy can tap the picked up uh, button here uh, otherwise if the uh, delivery guy wants to check the pickup location he can tap on the pickup location and then the maps uh, would be opened and uh, let me open this up and this would uh, display us the actual data regarding the same so here we have to go so I've uh, now reached the warehouse now I'll be uh, picking up this particular order so I'll tap on the picked up and on the prompt we'll tap ok and it, this would uh, basically uh, process uh, the uh, order and now from pending the status of this particular uh, order is processing now when the uh, when the uh, when the car when the delivery guy reaches the customer at that time the uh, delivery guy can tap the deliver button like this and uh, the customer would be uh, able to provide this particular delivery guy with a OTP so wherever uh, the customers are placing the orders from the web store or from the mobile application within the order details they have this one time password that four digit uh, code that needs to be entered here and after that when we tap on the proceed button basically the order gets completed so uh, let's go back so let's go to the dashboard once again so here we have the pending orders for this particular uh, uh, delivery guy we have the uh, processing orders and we also have the section where in the delivery guy can check the, the orders that he has completed now let's go to the site setting we have gone through the orders now let's go to the chat and uh, here you can see that the admin uh, from the admin we had uh, typed in the hello john message so uh, we can reply back to the admin hey admin so that's how the uh, delivery boy as well can chat with the uh, web store owner from the mobile application itself apart from that uh, under the settings section the uh, delivery boy can see the details of himself like a telephone number email address whether he's a bike or is uh, or a scooter and uh, right now he's online so whenever uh, whenever the uh, delivery guy wants to be offline like he doesn't want to be there available he doesn't want to make himself available at that time you can tap the your online uh, button here and uh, the delivery guy would be made offline so that was uh, the uh, section for the uh, what we say as the uh, delivery guys and tapping the logout button will log out uh, the delivery guy from the 
uh, from the mobile application itself. I need to enable my GPS. So here you can see that the admin just had uh, assigned John Doe with an order. So as soon as I've logged into my uh, delivery guy app, uh, you can see that uh, I've received the order. Now I have the option to cancel or accept it. If I accept it, uh, then uh, I would be able to process this particular order further. So I'll accept it. So I've, I've accepted this particular order. Now here also the, uh, the delivery guys would be able to check their sales and orders and accordingly they can filter their uh, data according to today, weekly, monthly, uh, yearly basis. Now let's go to the side end panel. Here the uh, delivery boys also have the section that's the order section, the chat, set, uh, chat uh, section, uh, the settings section and the language change section. So under the language, uh, the delivery boys can choose their particular language and under the orders uh, the uh, delivery boys can see the orders uh, that are uh, that are there uh, that are assigned to the delivery boy and which are pending so if i tap on one of the orders here you can see that uh, we have all the details of this uh, uh, particular order now because it's it's the uh, assigned to this particular delivery guy and uh, uh, and now the delivery guy can process uh, it further by uh, by picking the product from the uh, warehouse first so uh, here the uh, uh, the delivery guy can reject this particular order and uh, apart from that uh, if uh, when the uh, delivery guy picks up the uh, uh, order from the warehouse at that time the uh, delivery boy can tap the picked up uh, button here uh, otherwise, if the uh, delivery guy wants to check the pickup location, he can tap on the pickup location and then the maps uh, would be opened and uh, let me open this up and this would uh, display us the actual data regarding the same. So here we have to go. So I've uh, now reached the warehouse. Now I'll be uh, picking up this particular order. So I'll tap on the picked up. And on the prompt, we'll tap OK. And it, this would uh, basically uh, process uh, the uh, order. And now from pending, the status of this particular uh, order is processing. Now, when the uh, when the uh, when the uh, when the delivery guy reaches the customer, at that time, the uh, delivery guy can tap the deliver button like this and uh, the customer would be uh, able to provide this particular delivery guy with an OTP so wherever uh, the customers are placing the orders from the web store or from the mobile application within the order details they have this one time password that's four digit uh, code that needs to be entered here and after that when you tap on the proceed button basically the order gets completed so uh, let's go back so let's go to the dashboard once again. So here we have the pending orders for this particular uh, uh, delivery guy. We have the uh, processing orders and we also have the section where in the delivery guy can check the, the orders that he has completed. Now let's go to the side setting. We have gone through the orders. Now let's go to the chat. And uh, here you can see that the admin uh, from the admin we had uh, typed in the hello John message so uh, we can reply back to the admin hey admin so that's how the uh, delivery boy as well can chat with the uh, web store owner from the mobile application itself apart from that uh, under the settings section the uh, delivery boy can see the details of himself like his telephone number email address whether he's a bike or his, uh, or a scooter and right now he's online. So whenever uh, whenever the uh, delivery guy wants to be offline, like he doesn't want to be there available, he doesn't want to make himself available at that time, you can tap the your online uh, button here and uh, the delivery guy would be made offline. So that was uh, the uh, section for the, uh, what we say as the uh, delivery guys. 
and tapping the logout button will log out uh, the delivery guy from the uh, from the mobile application itself so after i've shown you the two sections uh, that's the admin end and the uh, delivery guy end how they can access uh, their accounts from the mobile application itself and how the admin can assign the uh, orders to the uh, to the delivery boys and how the delivery boy can further access those orders and try and complete the orders uh, by delivering the product to the customers so uh, let me show you how the customers would be able to first uh, place the order and how they can view uh, the uh, what we say as the uh, delivery delivery guy who has been assigned to them and uh, how can the uh, customer check the OTP that is needed uh, for uh, receiving the delivery at the time when the uh, delivery guy comes for the delivery of the product so uh, for that I'll be just logging into my account first so with that I've tapped in sign in now I'll be entering my email address and I'll be entering my password as well so I've logged into my account here so what I'll do is I'll just go to my account section and I'll be uh, placing or I'll be reordering one product so here I am I'll be reordering this product so after that I'll again take you to the uh, mobile end and through the app I'll show you how the admin can process that particular order and how you can assign that to the uh, delivery guy uh, itself so here I'll just uh, tap the proceed to checkout button and thereafter on the uh, checkout here you can see that uh, the shipping method that we had selected for the express fire delivery is visible here the customer can choose that and tap the next button to reach the payment uh, section and here the customer can tap the place order button to place the order the customer can do this via the mobile app as well but for now I'm just showing it uh, through the web store front end so let me go to the order so the order number is 123 so right now you can see that uh, nothing is available here only the order details are there so uh, now let me take you to the, to the uh, uh, mobile uh, mobile section and let me log in from the admin and then the uh, delivery guy and let me show you how the order this particular order number one two three can be processed so here i am and i'll be logging in as the admin within the uh mobile delivery boy app for version 2 2 so i'll tap on the login with uh my credentials now here i'll go and i'll go to the order section so the order was order number 123 so at the top here you can see john doe with the order number 123 so i'll tap on that and here we have the uh, details both of the products as i showed you so uh the uh so basically now from here the admin can tap the delivery boy option here and he can see which ones are available right now for that location so john doe is there so we'll be assigning this to john doe so you can see that uh, order has been uh, assigned successfully and a notification also uh, has been received so uh, we have assigned this order to the uh, delivery guy now let me log out and let me log in as as the uh what do you say as the delivery guy so i'll uh, enter the email address and uh, i'll enter the password uh, for his account Now I'll tap login button. Allow, allow. So you can see that we uh, the delivery guy John Doe has received this order that is order number one twenty three. So I'll tap on accept. The request has been processed successfully. Now let me go to the side panel to orders. So here's the top order that uh, is pending John Doe order number one twenty three. I'll tap on it now I as a delivery guy can type on this uh, icon as you can see here the red icon here for the customer details and this would display the uh, exact location of the customer so for now what I'll be doing is uh, I can now go to the warehouse and uh, to check the warehouse location I can tap on the pick location here so for now I have uh, picked up the uh, product from the uh, 
uh, warehouse so i'll tap on the picked up button here the uh, delivery guy can also reject the order by tapping the reject order and entering the respective uh, comment so uh, i've uh, picked up the order so now it has from pending to processing the status has changed now i've reached the uh, customer so, uh, customer's home so i'll tap on the uh, deliver button so now here i need to enter the uh, password uh, uh, that would be received uh, by the customer basically so uh, for that uh, what i'll be doing is i'll just uh, navigate to my customer account on the web uh, on, on the uh, on the on my laptop basically so i'll be typing in the password now it's uh, 0114 and I'll tap proceed and now you can see that the order would be complete and it would uh, be showing order delivered successfully and here you can see the status is complete now so uh, that is how the uh, delivery guy can uh, basically complete the order now let me take you to the front end once again and let me show you how the different uh, details are visible to the customer so here we are on the my order section for uh, John Doe and previously we didn't have any delivery option so as soon as the order was picked the delivery boy as soon as the, the order was assigned to the uh, delivery guy the delivery guy details were visible here to the customer and here's the OTP that needs to be submitted at the time of receiving the delivery so uh, that was how uh, basically uh, the app works and I have hope that it helped you out so if you have any for any further questions or queries regarding this particular plugin or uh, sorry the particular uh, mobile application then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com thanks for watching this and have a great day ahead